hello 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 my wonderful people on on youtube uh, my name is edward amwakun and i welcome you to my youtube channel and into this tutorial we are going to learn on how to design a very simple and amazing um wedding flyer okay wedding flyer invitation okay or wedding invitation like this like what you see on your screen very simple one okay so i'm going to walk you through i always subscribe to simplicity i love designing something very simple no stress just take your time and then relax as i walk you through it all right okay so don't also forget that all the resources that i use for this particular design are in the description the link is in the description just click in the on the link and it will take you to my google drive for you to download or i will leave a link just for you to go to the website and download it yourself all right so without wasting much time let's get right into the video hello guys so you welcome so we are getting into the video all right so let's go into photoshop all right so if you open your photoshop for the first time you are going to see this i mean because i am using um photoshop um 2021 when you do your designs and you save it as png it normally appears here all right it normally appears here okay so what we are going to do is to create a new document and start our design all right so what we do is to come to file or come to create new so come to file and then you go to new now i'm going to use a4 okay so on top over here where you see your recent we have saved photo and print so i'm going to head on to print okay so you click on the print and then you look for a4 okay so this is your a4 and then you double click or you click it as soon as you click it it is here and then you go ahead and name it as wedding invitation okay wedding invitation and then i will save or create new this is it so after that we have to set our background right and in this background we are going to use a gradient color so i'll head on onto my layer panel okay my layers here i've set my layers so go and look in for your layers okay so your layers i'll, I'll go to my layer panel here or the adjustment layer click on it and go and search for gradient gradient okay so here is the gradient you click on the gradient and then i have set my gradient as soon as you create a gradient you come to this side double click it and then i've set my color here all right so here is it this is the color that i use so i'm going to give you the uh, the color code so 01172c 01172c that is the color code and then then the second one is also 003140 003140 that is my color code okay and then after you set the color code you click on okay and then you are going to set this one to this side i want the dark color to come to the right corner here all right so i'm going to play along with the um with my with my angle okay good to get something like this i believe this is okay now yes or you can just set your angle to um just 161 i mean just play along with it let make sure that you have your dark color somewhere here all right so when you are okay you go ahead to click okay so i've set my background right then the second thing is to go into your into your resources okay and then you you come in and use this flower all right come and just drop in the flower and then you just shift it to the right corner position it somewhere here i think this is okay all right and then what you are going to do is to change this the color of this i mean the color of this flower all right so for you to do that come to your fx all right 
after on the, the same layer come to fx and then we are using gradient layer okay uh, i've set my gradient already so let me open it so that you have access to it i've set and saved them so let me use the i use three colors so if you also want to use the gradient three colors all that you have to do if you are using 2021 or if you are using especially if you are using 2021 mostly the photoshop gives you presets i mean it gives you just samples so just click and open any of the samples here you can see that you have one two three four okay just click on one and delete so that you have one two three colors then you can go ahead and change them okay good so for you to do that just click on any of the for when you come to basis it is two but if you come to blue color i think when you go through you can get um some of the head coat or some of the um the gradient colors to be three so you just go ahead just go through and then you get three colors in there if you are not getting it just just go through so let's let's go in for red and let's see yes so you can see that the red is having three colors so over here you can just go ahead and then change but because i have saved the the gradient color so i will not hesitate at all to go and click it so let me give you the hair codes so the first one is b48 c48 b48 c48 okay and then the second one which is the middle one C e c d 185 e c d 185 okay that is 50 make sure your location is 50 and then this one will be as the first one b48 c48 you click on ok you can even save by going ahead to click this new as soon as you click the new it is being saved okay but i'm not saving i've saved almost about three of them you can just go ahead and delete okay let's go ahead okay then you click on okay so i've saved now i want us to do something here just go to your gradient again i want her to save we are going to use this color because we um, i want you to save it make sure you save the gradient color i've taught you how to save it all right so copy this again we have copied the vintage and then you bring it here okay now you press ctrl t on the keyboard right click it flip it to vertical and then you flip it to horizontal and then i can put just put just position it so that it will be like the first one something like this excellent then you can just cop, uh, press on control select the first one select this one and then select the gradient color you press on control j to group it and name it as background name this as background all right so we have named it as our background so the second thing or if the next thing that we are going to do is to bring in our text all right so let's look, do that okay so bringing in our test is so simple just relax if you have the test already no problem you can even write it down or if you have it in your head just i'm not saying you should design the same thing but you can just this just this is just a guide for you to also know especially if you are to design and use the same color all right so the um the first font that we are going to use so we go to your text tool all right then you select it the font that we are going to use is um we are going to use the color to be white and then make sure this character you click on it so that you can activate it the font that we are going to use is we are going to use um the senator all right this font it is in the description all right um Sinzo, okay Sinzo. i'm not familiar even with the font <laughs> Sinzo. as soon as you, you type in Sinzo, so the since we are going to use the regular okay the regular and then we type just click on it and then we are type in capital letters together with the uh, 
with their families okay together with their families as for the size of the font you can just play along it depending on how well you want it or the size that you really want uh, it just just go ahead and then make it your own size okay. all right so this is together with their families all right okay and then let me use 18 yes let me use 18 for it i think 18 is okay and make sure i position it well okay and then also um copy let me copy it and then the second font the name i'm going to use the name which is emmanuel emmanuel that is the name of the groom emmanuel okay so the font that i'm going to use is um prestige signature okay i'm going to expand and use 110 yeah let me go oh let's see yes 110 i mean or oh, 100 is not bad let me use 100 the 100 is not bad yes you position it at the middle you copy it again and then this will be the name of the lady which is rebecca okay rebecca capital r e um b e c c a rebecca okay then you copy the together with the families again we're going to use this font for the asian okay for the asian and then this time around we are not going to use regular we're going to use bold okay bold okay so and then this font is going to be 24 i'm going to use 24 yes um then position it here copy the asian all right and this is going to be the same name of the lady okay of the bride which is atta okay atta all right very simple no stress no stress at all then bring it up a little bit okay just relax i mean very simple design and then i want the same names the asian and the atta make sure you align them here okay you bring it somewhere here a little bit shift it up and then the rebecca and then the imando you also align them okay yes i think amazing i like i like what i'm seeing let me bring this down a little bit together with the atta let me bring it here i think yes this is okay and then the rebecca up a little bit good and then let me copy the atta and make it and because they are two people and okay and amazing so let me change it so everything is copy and paste copy and paste just copy copy and okay and this and i want it to be a little bit deep so i'll use black okay and but i'll make sure i'll align it you select it Control e and then you align it at the center here shift it up a little bit you select the arta and then the rebecca too you bring it up a little bit shift this one up i think this is okay then we are going to change the color of this emmanuel and then rebecca okay so we are not using the character just come to fx and then you are using the gradient okay this is the gradient overlay we are going to use the gradient color that we use for the flower okay if you have really saved it if you saved it it will be here all right it will be here so just select it and then you go your way you are not going to waste my time and then also the rebecca as we go to fx gradient and automatically the color will change for you all right that's amazing amazing so the second the third aspect is to just bring in the humbly invite so we're going to copy this okay everything is copy copy and then we are going to write humbly 
sorry humbly invite invite you to witness the the wedding ceremony the wedding ceremony okay then this one i want to align everything so what i'll do is i'll select everything here come to my line here and then select the middle one okay very good amazing 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 so i want to align this press ctrl a and then you align it at the center yes amazing very nice one okay all right you copy this again everything is copy and paste now we are going to institute the date okay december all right december then with the december we are going to we are going to use the font you are going to increase the font but this font um we are going to use yes 36 i think 36 is okay 36 and then make sure you align it you align it yes it's aligned i think yeah this is okay so when you see the line it means it is aligned all right then we are going to use the saturday paint i'm going to use a line just to make it creativity okay we're going to draw this line here okay we want it to be white okay just time it okay i think this is too big for me it's too big for my liking all right let's zoom out let's zoom out good and then let's draw it i think this this is okay all right then let's copy this bring it down and then let's write saturday saturday okay all right just take your time then with this saturday i want to change the color i don't want to maintain it to, i don't want it to be white okay so what i'll do is that i'll press bring in this character change the color pick any of the colors here yes i think this is okay then copy it Control c okay once you press here to select the color you just copy it just highlight it here and then press ctrl c to copy because we are going to use them a lot okay then let's yes let's copy this one i want this one the same thing down here mm, yes then i'll copy it and then select the saturday as well bring it up 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 yes amazing let me shift it here a little bit then let me copy it so everything is all about copy let me click this and then shift it here yes i think this is this is okay then i'm going to change the saturday to time which is 10 o'clock am yes 10 o'clock am let's let me position it let me position the saturday then i'm going to draw a line here let me copy the december and then change it to 10th 10th of december 10th of december that is where that is the date that the person is getting married then the 10th i want to increase the font size of the font i want bold yes i want it to be bold then i will use this draw a certain line here yeah okay amazing let me shift it here copy it and then shift it to the other edge okay shift it to the other edge just take your time if you know that maybe i'm going too fast you can just pause and then watch the video over and over again so i want us to group all of these okay it is left with one thing let's bring in the venue so you copy the humbly witness 
so the venue is going to be hollywood hollywood so it can it can be any location of your choice okay or mina yes then you just bring it here let me position it yes i've aligned it all right then we bring in the um the the sign the symbol okay for for location but then let's change the colors so i told you that color we are going to use this the same color so control vin to paste it or you just click it, this flower just to change it then let's go to our resources so it means that i didn't add it i will add it for you all right so let let me go in and then um to my resources and then select in the um the location here is it this is the location sign let me send it to desktop for you and then from desktop let me shift it into the where the resources are yes then you bring it onto photoshop okay then let's reduce the size the size is too big let's reduce it yes, i think this is this is okay let me position it here uh, i think it's too big as well this is okay then i will change the color of the of the location so using the f x and then come to color overlay the color overlay i will change it to white okay i'll just press on this and change it to white amazing amazing so we are going to select the then select all these two and position them under it then what i'm going to do is to cop just group the date and then the time select everything and then group the dates the saturday and everything group them and then group the lines as well <laughs> yes the lines that's very very important yes group them together with the time and everything okay let's come down and then select the 10 select december select saturday and select this select the vintage and then control gene and then let's see yes i've grouped everything then let me name it as date time and venue okay yes and then you press control o let's position everything at the center here yes amazing i can shift it up a little bit I like this I like this so the next thing that we are going to do is to bring in the the text or the quotation okay now with the quotation the font that I use is Montserrat okay this is Montserrat and Montserrat I used um, I use regular okay you can maintain the regular so Proverbs chapter 18 verse number 22 it says he so i can bring a quote something like this okay he that has found a good wife has found has found has found favor or favors comma um, and has received i mean uh, any other version that you are using is correct and receive gladness from god yes amazing then i'll come and Put the quotation proverb proverbs 18 verse 22 i will change the color of the proverb and then i'll change it to um the color this one and pick this yes i'll change it to this color okay or you put in the color that we use for the 
for the for the hollywood the date and then the time okay only that only that part and then let's reduce the font to somewhere 16 or even 14 will be better i think 14 will be better then you press ctrl a position it at the middle okay and then you shift it here something like this is fine so the last thing that is left is for us to bring in the rsvp okay so the rsvp you still have to select this and then let's put in rsvp there we are going to change the color to the same just copy and paste the color in here all right then this time we are going to use the bold okay we're going to use bold okay position the rsvp we're going to use bold okay then i will just copy this dash line here okay i'll just go in the date okay copy it Control J, Control J, copy it. But because I group it, so I will pre I will just remove the control, the one, the copy one from the group. Okay, so that when I need it, it won't. I mean, give me any problem. Okay, let me let me let me take it and bring it somewhere here. Yes, this is what I wanted then you can just it's too big so i want to close it something like this just to make it stylish so let me bring the date and everything all right then this one to let me change the color so, so if for you to change the color just select the, this thumbnail double click it and then you paste the color in there you copy it again and then you shift it you press forward until it gets to the other edge okay so with this particular design just relax and then design no ration all right something like this is better okay so it is left for us to bring in the names okay and they are contacts so let me control control plus to zoom out so that i will see whatever that i'm doing so this is mr okay the number is zero five four five two zero one six one four okay all right then I want to align it here I want to align it to the left okay yes I want to align it to the left okay bring it here now let me reduce the size of the font to 14 I think 14 is okay and then copy this bring it here and the person that i'm going to use is mr jeffrey mr jeffrey so you you can come out with the any um 78 2695 okay any any rsvp at all can do can do okay now uh, let me group the rsvp too so that's um, rsvp and then the yes rsvp and then the their names yes let me group this all right control j wow yes control j and then yes everything is good then i can name it just double cancel it double click it and then name it as rsvp rsvp okay then control o yes let's position everything here make sure that everything is at the center okay so what is the last thing that is left is for us to i'm bringing the vintage okay there was there was a vintage here this that's we need to do that so let's bring in the vintage all right so i, I want us to copy the together okay 
and then copy everything then change it to k let's change it to k just k the letter k and then expand it so that we see the vintage very well okay then go to your character still selected the key and then change the denzel to vintage it is in the resources vintage yes we are going to change it to k or oh, let me say k a just play along with it the one that you think is nice k the decorative one k let's use this vintage and see okay so i think i think this one is okay think let me let me go by this this one is what this one is k so let me check the vintage it's the same thing mm. so vintage but it looks like this one has changed i don't know why but it is the same k that we are using but make sure that your k will be small later okay okay will be small later so let me bring it here something like this just align it at the center then bring it down a little bit then bring the yes cement down a little bit then let's change the color of this vintage come to fx and then come to color valley okay change the color and then just paste okay just paste in there then you are going to copy this as well bring it here something like this make sure that you align it at the center yes amazing that, that's it that's it very simple very simple and amazing design okay amazing design very beautiful very beautiful you can decide to add a ring or maybe any other thing to it just to spice it out okay so let's see if we can add something like a ring i feel like adding some ring or something let me see if i can get a ring here okay let's go through if I, I, I can get a ring yes let me let me see if i can get add this ring here all right let me let me see if i can add it okay just like okay let me let me put it here something or at the middle let's see if i put it at the middle will it be nice will it be nice so let me let me let me i don't think it will be nice <laughs> i don't think it will be nice. yes so let me bring it here or you leave it like that i mean if it is nice then you tell me if it is not nice to you leave it like that so let's delete it and maintain it this way okay i think we are done we are done with everything okay all right very beautiful very beautiful design very beautiful. i like i like something simple like this so when you are done with everything you save your work okay so the shortcut for saving is control alternate s control alternate s then you press it to um jpeg i'm saving it to where my resources are okay and then make sure it is on base standard baseline standard good save let's go to our resources and then have a look at it amazing so here is a flyer let's open it double click and let's open it to see how beautiful our flyer looks like please don't forget to like comment and share invite a friend to come and watch it this is our i mean final work very beautiful and very simple so you can try this for a friend or for anyone and don't do please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to push this channel all right god bless you try your hand on it bye